Well, it's either talking about you or about somebody that you're with, Sagittarius. But this is a lovely, lovely, beautiful thing. Um, this is a very sensual woman. Sensual. Or um, somebody who's mature. It's spiritually. It's very spiritually deep, emotional, emotionally deep person. A human that understands their psyche, their psychic abilities, their sense of spirit. They're connected. They have a beautiful kind of like harmony with the world. Sagittarius. This is either describing you or it's describing somebody that you're in love with. Either way, there's got a lot to do with love here. And I'll tell you right now, if it's describing you, this is why they love you so much. Right? Or you want to give your heart to somebody like this. She's on your mind. Plain and simple. Now, maybe she's on your mind and she's already in your bed. I hope so. Because that would be very happy. Because she interests you. She intrigues you. You know, she tantalizes you, but she also challenges you. There's always something like a depth of character that, that enables you to not get bored. Right? Or this is who you're looking for, who you want to give your heart to. This is who you're really searching for deep inside. Or this is exactly who you are and it's what you're loved for. It's why somebody is so attracted to you. Or loving a sense of understanding yourself or a deep knowledge, a deep self-love, a deep self-connectivity to your spirituality. Either way, there is this unconditional connection because of your spirituality and your sense of your your sense of self outside yourself your self a sense of self in connection to the greater universe and that's something that you're very intrigued by you know you you yeah yeah it's something that you're falling for something something that is important to you or it's you deepening your understanding. Now, what does this have to do with anything? I don't know, man. We just started the reading. Sagittarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It comes out every single Tuesday with Scorpio uh, weekly tarot and with Libra weekly tarot. So please, Sagittarius, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, also... Um, Ring that bell so you know when I upload. This is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising signs. And Sagittarius, I recommend you watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. That's the well-rounded message that you really want to get. Like this video. Share this video. That really helps. And there's always an extended reading. That's the best way to support the channel is to get that extended reading. It's got two readings in one. And it's pretty awesome we'll get into some surprises because i'm trying new things with it over there uh new beginnings phoenix this is scorpio energy you dealing with scorpio or this is just a sense of renewing yourself starting over starting a new life starting a new way starting a new way of being um this is also highly spiritual energy um god for, some, for somebody, you mark a new beginning, new start, new, new way of being, new way of being based on your old wisdoms. You never have to let go of the lessons that you learn. In fact, they are the building blocks to what you become. Begin your new life, Sagittarius. This is the time. And I also think in some ways, this is something that you dedicated yourself to, you committed yourself to, you had to have a lot of faith in. Okay, let's do this. My neighbors are noisy. I know you can hear them. Travel. You're going to hit the road. Oh, youth. Once again, this has something to do with children. Libra got big time children too. This is something to do with youth. Some, I feel like this is something you've always wanted since you were a kid. Or, the, yeah, yeah. This connection that goes back to childhood fulfilling a childhood dream or desire to travel to go somewhere to explore um to be innocent to be free to be untethered right also yeah new new start fresh innocence there's innocence here innocence innocence and travel um somebody could be traveling to see you too you could be traveling going the distance committing yourself to going the distance youth is such a beautiful energy because it's really just it's just about being be, new beginnings you got two of these messages right here what's your new chapter 
I got a lot of Sagittarius's in my life. I expect some fucking phone calls from you guys. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh. Sagittarius. We have only just begun. Don't forget, find me on Instagram because then you can join me live daily. I would love to have you guys. I'd love to hear your voices. Born underscore without underscore boundaries. You can find me on you can find me on Instagram. You can also find me on TikTok. I will forgive. But it was in reverse. Maybe you held grudges. I will rejoice. Oh boy. This is a good time for you. This is happy news. This is liberation. This is freedom. You're celebrating something. You're finally getting something that you have been working for or could not give up on. I will forgive. I think that this is, it's implying that you would not let this go. Like this was, this was something that you insisted upon. And because you insisted upon it, now it's coming true. Right? This is also a sense of I am finally untethered. Now I feel, you feel free. So something has opened up. Maybe all bills are paid. Maybe all your obligations are met. Sagittarius, this is it, babes. This is your, this is your time of freedom. And you put a lot of faith into this. You dedicated yourself. You did this in the dark. And what I mean by in the dark is even when things looked dark and things got bleak, now you are on this emotional withdrawal. It's almost like you need some time to just like process this. I don't think this is bad. It's like saying you need some time to process this. You haven't told everybody. Even though this is happy news, you haven't told everybody. And the reason why? Because you just need some time. You, you need some time to think, oh my God, this is actually real. This is actually real. Emotional loss. So it's a lot emotional loss coming up so it's a lot for you immediately i thought maybe all of this happiness reminds you of something that was taken away from you something that really hurt and made you sad and somehow it it's sort of like the other side of things like healing coming through but let's look at the other cards partnerships and alliances this partner this person or this partnership helped you through a really shit time they helped you through suffering and pain and fear um rejoice and celebration what is this good news man because this is a party you throwing a party maybe it's a wedding or a celebration or yeah come yeah yeah, I'm just, I'm like seeing pop open champagne. Prosperity begins. Okay, so this could be triumph is here. So this is a sense of, yes, you got what you wanted. You got what your, where your goal was. This is also, this is a sense of money coming in that you needed. Things going your way. Now finally being able to live the sweet life after something this is three three came in now is the divine timing now is the right timing this is a beautiful beautiful time for you for what though for what though sagittarius sagittarius remember remember to subscribe to my other channel astrology motivation um yeah i post all the dailies there um, I'll post my weekly astrology motivations there. Remember to subscribe over there too. I'll attach the link above. Confidence is your key to success. I think that that's what it was. I think really may, you made your decision. Now keep it up to just believe in yourself. Your dreams need a practical plan. This is all about taking something from concept. So in other words, with confidence, you will be able to take something from concept in your brain where you're now starting to put it into brick and mortar. You're starting to manifest it into real, even finance it. Like, like in other words, go ahead and commit yourself financially. Go ahead and start laying down the brickwork. For you, know, you want to pave your yellow brick road, start the pavement process. How am I going to take this from concept? It was through confidence that you took this from concept. 
and little by little patience took a lot of patience which I think is remarkable for you guys because you're not known for your patience but that just showed how dedicated you were to something a fiery climax approach this is Aries I wonder if something happened with Aries energy or you're dealing with an Aries who finally like came through or this is just a sense of you maybe butting heads with somebody but you're not going to let that stop you you're not going to let that get to you you know maybe you're confronting there's a confrontation here um especially if you're dealing with an Aries whatever whatever just keep stepping right Sagittarius keep stepping right Keep stepping in the direction that's right for you. I feel like it's in the past, though. Maybe an Aries, like, maybe if you're dealing with Aries, they weren't so pleased. I don't know. I don't know. Look forward. Even if there was some sort of a conflict, you didn't back down. You just kept stepping right forward, always forward. This and this was your this was confidence. Through confidence, you found a way to make the impossible work. Or you will just keep moving forward. Decide the outcome. You make the decision. Don't wait for somebody else to make the decision. You make the decision. And I think you have made a decision. And it's almost like despite somebody else's opinion, you made the decision. Don't sweat the small stuff. Letting those details get in your way is just, this is not the time. What you need is to just keep pushing forward. This is, this is something I feel like that's come to fruition because of the decision that you made to carry it out. People aren't happy with it. You have to choose what's right for you, Sagittarius. You have to choose what's right for you. Mm. What is this and pertains to? What, what does this pertain to, Sagittarius? This is a lot of strength, man. <sighs> Standing on your own. You decided to be independent. You decided to be competent. You decided this is Virgo energy to stand on your own and to continue to slowly cultivate something. Stem by stem, leaf by leaf to continue to nurture something, to grow something, to develop something. And to maintain your integrity and to not back down. That's how you decided. You're like, I'm not going to let your doubts compromise my integrity. Damn, Sagittarius. So what is what is this? And what are they getting out of it? Well, triumph and victory. We already have that. Well, more details. Prosperity, freedom. Financial independence. That means money is coming in. And this is, this is recent. Doubling down. Financial freedom. That's what this, it has to do with finances. Not too long ago. Ooh, untethering yourself to any of this BS. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, nothing tastes as good as freedom does. Nothing. 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 Freedom is the sweetest taste. These are my intimate cards. I can't show you the cards, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview. We're going to do the rest over on Vimeo. We're going to get real, real raw over there because we can. It's gated. I don't have to worry about it, but I'll tell you right now. If I even showed these cards on here, YouTube would flag it. So I'm not going to. We'll show them in the extended. The link is below. We'll do a full reading of them over there. Oh, shit. We have the five of pentacles, wanting, desire, something just starting out. Um, and then we have maybe risking it all for somebody. And then the three of cups. Oh my God, I need to show you this picture. This is some, whoa. Oh, somebody wants you. Uh, this once more, once again, a lot of celebration. I feel like something was forbidden at first and then it got real intense. And then you have the four of cups. Maybe there was a sense of somebody thinking that they weren't as interested in, in it as you, even though they were all into it before. And then we have uh, in reverse the empress. So this is a very demeaning energy. Um, somebody who was very sexually manipulative. And then the sun. Yeah, somebody's ego. 
I can't show you the cards, but somebody's ego really got into the got in the way and threatened to destroy things. Um, this could also be a devouring mother who tried to destroy your ego or make you feel like you weren't good enough being you. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that could have really gotten in your way or stood in your way. Um, and, uh, oh, God. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get into this with you guys. Yeah, let's get into the rest of the cards. I'll show you the cards over on the extended. Like I said, I'll do the full reading because then I can get into it. Into the intimate. That's what I can get over. Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like, you know, somebody tried to, like, you know, kind of like whittle their way or manipulate their way and, and, and then walk away back down just when the going got tough building blocks I was talking about this before plate like block by block block you making the decision oh I said this and I think the was it Scorpio or Libra you make the decision you you like it's like starting to pave the yellow brick road pave the yellow brick road Brick by brick, building the future the way that you wanted it to look. Chaos and conflict. And you had, you confronted a lot. So in other words, something was constantly getting in the way of what you were trying to build. <laughs> just, the, I mean, I do think that just the craziness that was coming up. And a lot of it, I think, was emotional. That you feel could have been avoided or should have been avoided. Okay. What is that conflict? Who is that conflict with? That's what I want to know. Watermelon tourmaline. Stress reduction. You deserve it. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. And I think maybe that could cause conflict too. Because, you know, when we try to, like, revive our, you know, uh, relieve our schedule, it's almost like, but you won't be making as much money, and then you'll get all messed up, and you won't achieve your... But it's like, now it's really time to take a second, to take a break, to rest yourself and not push things. Let, let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance listen to them and give yourself time to listen to them especially if you feel heavily sleepy right now you need to give yourself more time to sleep that is not actually laziness that's your body trying to resync itself because we're all going through these this portal and this huge energetic shift and that is you actually recalibrating so you have to give yourself time for it oh busy times and multitasking listen to this one Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Were you trying to avoid something? It's so easy to say, oh, I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Why? Is it because you're afraid? Is it because you're trying to avoid something? That, what is your real reason for working as hard as you are? You know, ask yourself that question because I think a lot of it had to do with fear, Sagittarius. Fear that you that it was never going to happen. And with fear, it's never going to happen. Healthy communication and relationship, heart-to-heart -heart discussions. You were trying to avoid a discussion. You were trying to avoid a discussion. Um, and clear, assertive communications help you understand and be understood. So maybe work was a way for you to get, up, get away from this and avoid some really uncomfortable situation. You know, you, you didn't want to face it. And what was this could have to do with your sensuality could have to do with a lack of interest or being scared to admit a lack of interest or feeling like somebody had a lack of interest in you and needing to address it, but being scared because you didn't want to hear the answers or deciding to use work as a means of uh, kind of get away from me, but not acknowledging it as such. Okay, let's get into your animal totem messages. <laughs> We're going to dive deeper especially for cross watchers to figure out what the heck is going on with their Sagittarius. Yeah, they were feeling something that they didn't want to like own up to. Plain and simple, that's kind of what this is. Or you're dealing with somebody. There's a lot of underlying messages. Uh, let's see what our animal totems have to say. Set healthy boundaries is in reverse. This is armadillo energy. I mean... In other words, you let your boundaries way down, Sagittarius, and somebody just rolled all over you. 
I feel like you let yourself really vulnerable. You did not set a healthy boundary. And you might have opened yourself up to something that you were actually not ready for. Yes, this doesn't have to be with relationships. This could be with work. This could be with work stepping all over you because you didn't set your boundaries from the fucking beginning. But that's what it is. It's almost like you were afraid that if you set those boundaries that they were going to reject you or not give you the job that you wanted or not take you seriously. And now then you got stuck being their bitch about everything. It started to make you miserable. Now is a lucky time. So this is about abundance replicating itself or finances or fertility coming in. So this also could be about making babies. Depends on how, where you are in your life. But ultimately, um, what you invested, the seeds that you planted are starting to proliferate. And then we have lizard, dream the world. This is very Sagittarius energy. Dream the world into being. There's a, there's a, it's almost like the fear is driving you to change things, to not go back, to remind you to, that the past was nothing to look at and you only want to move forward. It's also to be playful. You know, and not try not to pay attention to all the craziness from the past. Because it'll get in your way. Sing your own song. This is Gemini energy. Gemini energy. Be proud. Be happy. Be free. Free. I know why the cage birds sing. This is the canary. Who let the canary out of the cage? Um, this is definitely sing your own song. Do you. And be at home. This is you creating the home that you've always wanted. Whether it be the way that you decorate it or where you live or where you're moving to. This is you basically maybe even announcing that you're about to move or, or um, um, have a housewarming party. That's really interesting. Let's get into your angel messages, Sagittarius, before we go to tarot and your... Uh, um, sensual tarot reading i've wanted to use these cards since my friend gave them to me but i haven't found a way to incorporate them because i know how youtube is with all that kind of stuff heart and soul when making your decision take into account what your heart and soul are saying sometimes the mind can deceive us choose through love not fear so yeah follow your heart Forget about what your head and your fear is telling you. Because do you want that to be true? No. You want what your heart says to be true. So that's what you have to manifest into reality by supporting it with your actions. Middle path. Embrace both sides. The middle path is a road to a balanced and more peaceful life. In other words, Sagittarius, there isn't just one way or the other. You have choices. It's not, it's not cut and dry or black and white blaze your own trail and then blue angel i archangel michael am here by your side i am all around you and will forever protect you remember this whenever you feel fearful i love you all as well that's beautiful adventure instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle try seeing it as an adventure explore all the possibilities there are many more than you currently imagine. That's once again, blazing your own trail and making what you need to make of this situation out of it, right? There are many more than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, what I just say, um, try to explore all the colors in between. Three, 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 you're divinely protected. And then last but not least, harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. And I, yeah, every, I think you had some experience with that recently. And so now you know the difference and how it feels and you don't, you don't want to go back to disharmony. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. Let's go to sensual tarot your extended reading and your romance reading i'll see you guys over there link is below